Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the Adobe HMAC test in the Realme X1 Max device. So, by keeping in the freezer. So, this is a question which has been requested by a few of my subscribers. So, I thought of making a video on this particular phone. The main reason is because just yesterday, I did upload on the Snapdragon 888 processor. The phone was able to reach up to 8 lakhs 30 thousand, yes. With the Snapdragon 888 processor. But, few of the users, they want to see how well this Realme X1 Max is going to perform under these extreme conditions, extreme cold conditions. So normally the phone will definitely increase up to 37 degrees, 38 degrees as well, the temperatures you can clearly see. But let's see using this kind of method whether the phone can actually uh, keep any kind of low temperatures and it can maintain any kind of high analog benchmark scores or not. So that's what I'm expecting. So the highest so far in the Realme X1 Max I got about close to 6 lakhs 90,000 90, and 6 lakhs 85,000 somewhere around that. So I was expecting the phone should be reaching up to 7 lakhs as well. But let's see whether the phone can actually reach up to 7 lakhs or not. So that will be really interesting test and interesting comparison to do. So right now you can see the temperatures in the beginning it's of 23 and 24 degrees on the phone and I'm trying to keep track of these temperatures. So often you can see the temperatures right now it's 23 still 21 degrees at this moment. And I'm trying to keep exactly in front of the cold air uh, vent which is coming from the back side. So it should be kind of okay I would say. But let's see friends what will be the final score so this is going to be really very interesting to see so how much scores we can actually expect and right now the test is about to finish it's in the final stage of another benchmark test i think so this stage should be the final stage after this this one we'll be able to see the final result so it's very cold friends i can definitely feel very cool so i'm not sure whether the phone will be able to reach that high benchmarks but let's see what happens so finally the under benchmark test has been done and we got a result about 6 lakhs 82 thousand so which is not bad but uh, still i used to get without using freezer also same type of under benchmark test i used to get before as well but there's nothing much special if you try to use in this freezer method but if i try to do the same kind of testing in the iq7 device it went up to 7 lakhs 20 thousand it increased realme gt with the snapdragon 88 processor also increased a lot i think uh, 8 lakhs 30 thousand so I'm expecting similar kind of uh, increasing in the benchmarks in my Realme X1 Max but it did not happen in that case but it's not, it's kind of okay friends because this is just out of curiosity type of questions only so there's nothing to do with the uh, real life testing nothing at all. So that's it friends thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more updates make sure to like this video in case if you like my work and see you in the next video until then bye.